Stroke is terrible disease, as we know, mostly caused by a blockage of the blood vessels by a clot, blocking the blood supply to the brain cells. Immediately, a few of the brain cells will be dead within a few minutes. There are a lot of uh, surrounding tissue that can be saved if we can reopen the blood vessels. And now we have uh, this treatment we call the clot buster. If we can give it within 4.5 hours, it can limit the, the damage and save the surrounding brain tissue from dying. But we have to be quick because every minute, 1.9 million brain cells will be dead. And this treatment also is time dependent because of this. And if we can give it in one and a half hours, the effect is the best. If we can delay it up to 4.5 hours, the effect will be much more uh, not as good. And that's why we need to give the patient as quick as possible. Unfortunately, at this moment, only 1% of the stroke patients in the world get this treatment because there are many small hospitals that's not equipped to give this drug. So either they have to transfer the patient to the big hospital, which will kill more brain cells, or we can use telestroke or telemedicine. And most of the time now, we have a hub and spoke model. And with the hub and spoke, there's a 24-hour specialist in the hospital sitting in the room with sophisticated communication facilities. They can connect it to a small district hospital. And with that, they use the brain scan, looking at the laboratory data, and then use video conferencing to examine the patient briefly. But this is expensive. And why? Because it has to be very safe. The security is a big problem. We don't want to lose patient privacy. And with technology in the world, over the last few decades, there has been more development in this telescope by using robots. It looks as if they are treating the patient, but they are very far away. So that study has shown that using this telestroke, uh, with giving this cord bluster, the effect is the same as the doctor is next to you. So it's safer uh, than uh, not having a doctor. And then it can give much more, uh, cover much bigger area than the specialist hospital. So one of the major issues, as I say, is the piracy. We don't want to send patient data out of the uh, firewall of the hospital. So a few years ago in Hong Kong, in the hospital authority, we developed some software to uh, send the imaging and all the uh, data encrypted. And then the doctors actually can be looking at mobile devices like iPad, iPhone. And then the nurses will get to see the patient and then the doctor will supervise him. In, at the same time, we can look at the images and the data anywhere in the world. This is like a telestroke system, but with a mobile device now. Why is it so difficult? Because as I mentioned, you need piracy and there's need to integrate a lot of data at the same time. And the good thing is you can be in a cafe or listening lecture here while we're treating patient. The doctors has to be within a mobile device and supervising the nurse. So nurse is the key person here. We need to train the nurse very professionally and give the drug as uh, requested by the doctors. But now with more technology, instead of one doctor giving the device, now we can have a more apps development. And this is one app that available last year that can unify all the data sent to the cow and then the mobile system can connect it to it. The advantage is there are not now not just one doctor, there are many doctors. Doctors from different specialty can come and look at the various data and discuss the case and give the drug safely. And the good news, it's much cheaper than the robot, and it's, much, it's also very safe. So now we can treat the patient with a multidisciplinary team. So the final aim is to group all the apps developer, the uh, hospital service provider, doctors together. The aim is to treat the patient faster and treat more patients so we can treat the uh, health more people in the world for, from suffering for the consequence of stroke. Thank you.